And the Lord devised a plan to recover all of his children. Who are they? Every child of Adam. So we just don't want you thinking that this is confined to Israel because let me tell you something, we as Israelites, we have had a bad, bad reputation. And that is that God going to throw everybody else in hell and we're going to be saved. Then you say, well, we chosen. The first thing you ask is, what are you chosen to do? I don't know. We chose. But once you find out what you was chosen to do, and that is to recover all of the sons of Adam, through Jesus, because he made us the priest. Now, if everybody else go to hell but us, then why do you think that we don't have us a spot waiting on it? Because we have woefully failed our job. Mm -hmm. It's all that simple. So this thing, not just about a people system, brothers, it is about the creation. Right. And we have to come to that knowledge. That's why the Lord caused me to put this together, and we're going to pick it up in the very beginning. We're going to Genesis, the first chapter. Because it is very, very narrow to think that God just chose him a people to save and nobody else. Very, very narrow, sisters and brothers. So we're going to try and make sure that we can transcend that narrowness of mind and come up with the word of God the way it's supposed to be. Now we're going to Genesis, the first chapter, and we're going to verse 26, Genesis 1 and 26. Genesis 1 and 26, because we have to understand this is about the recover, recovery of a whole creation, not just about Israel, but Israel is the key in this whole puzzle, sister and brother. Verse 26, go ahead. And God said, let us make man in our image uh -huh. after our likeness. Go ahead. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, uh -huh. and over the fowl of the air, Go ahead. and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Now, see, the Lord created this man in his image, because this man is going to have the same power, eventually, that God had. And so God gave you a little training program. He put you over everything else in the creation. And you were supposed to learn how to regulate and run this world according to God's commandments. So that's why I say he put you over everything. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. So God created man in his own image. Uh-huh. And the image of God created he him. Go ahead. Male and female created he them. Male and female created he them, mm -hmm. sister and brother. This was supposed to be an equal thing. But then the woman talked to Satan, and then she went and persuaded her husband. Then all of a sudden the Lord said, look, because you did this, you're going to have pain in childbirth. Also, your desire is going to be toward your husband, and he's going to rule over you. Mm -hmm. And that can't be circumvented, sister and brother, because the Lord set it in order. But it wasn't like that in the beginning. But that is the result of not listening. And all this is supposed to be an example for us of not listening. Because nobody gets away with nothing with God. I tell people all the time, oh, you might get by for a minute. Everything mm -hmm. looks good. All of a sudden, the bottom fall out. Mm -hmm. And you want to ask, what happened? Your behavior has finally caught up with you. Go ahead and read the next verse. And God blessed them. Uh-huh. And God said unto them, Go ahead. Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Uh-huh. And subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. So now, Lord, let this man know that, look, I'm putting you over everything, and I want you to repopulate the earth. And that's another lesson. One day we're going to show you what he mean when he said mm -hmm. replenish, because man was not the first. He's the first woman that's called man. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we're going to go and bring this man now into existence, because this first chapter, sisters and brothers, is a blueprint of God's plan. He told you from the beginning to the end. So now, here in the Genesis, the second chapter, he's going to start bringing, bringing it to pass. That's why a lot of uh, people say there are two creations. No, there wasn't no two creations. God put it in a plan. He drew out his blueprint. He drew, put his uh, whole program on the table, and it's going to happen just like that. Mm -hmm. See, God is a God of organization. And if you're going to serve God, you got to be organized. Right. You don't have no hit and miss. You don't have no inadvertent happenings. Everything should be planned out. But, Brother Boo, I like 
A spontaneous. Yeah, that's right. You know, like getting shot when you didn't intend to get <laughs> shot. That's spontaneous. <laughs> Genesis 2. We're going to bring this into, create, in, into existence. And we're going to look at this man, sisters and brothers. And we're going to have a see everybody's role to be played in here. Genesis 2 and start at verse 7. Genesis 2 and 7. Okay, read it. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground uh -huh. and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Go ahead. And man became a living soul. So the Lord, when he formed man out of the dust of the ground, the only thing that God gave man was the breath of life. Mm -hmm. Man became a living soul. This thing that you have that the soul is in you, it is not even the book, sister and brother. Mm -hmm. Became. You know, when you become something, that is the to sum total of you. But what was man before God breathed into his nostrils? A, a dead, dead soul. soul. That's right. Because soul ain't nothing but another uh, word for body, mm -hmm. sister and brother. Go ahead and read. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. Uh -huh. And there he put the man whom he had formed. Go ahead. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight uh -huh. and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So now the Lord planted a garden. Then he had a lot of trees that grew out of the ground that was good for food, sister and brother. But he had two other trees in the garden too that wasn't for food, not for physical food, but for spiritual food. The tree of knowledge, of the knowledge of good and evil, and the tree of life. Now when the Lord put man here, he did not hide man from the wrong doer. He was to teach man to stay away from That's right. Now, we're going to show you the only thing that God had told a man he couldn't do. And let's see what happens. Skip now to verse 16. Verse 16, and go ahead. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, uh -huh. Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. Remember, the tree of life was in there, That's too. Right. Go ahead and read. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, uh -huh. thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And he said, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, sister and brother, that's Satan the devil. We have other lessons to point all that out. We don't have time to be, point everything. He said, but the day that you eat of this tree, that is the day you die. And man died that exact same day. But because you had all the New Testament Christians teaching the word of God, they figured that man died spiritually. Mm -hmm. He died spiritually, but he also died physically. Because a day with the Lord is a thousand years. The Lord give it to you in some by the mouth of David, which is his word. And he also had Peter to write it. Mm. The ones that he left the keys of the kingdom with. There ain't never been a man that lived a thousand years, sister and brother. Mm. The first day that this man sinned against God, he did it. Otherwise, the Lord lied. But what, what happened is people being that they didn't understand what we got to answer. Why not just leave it alone until the Lord give you the answer? Mm. Now, let's see what this man did. Let's go into Genesis, the third chapter, because we're going to walk this whole thing through. Because even with Israel, it is a part of recovering this creation, sisters and brothers. Genesis 3 and verse 1. Genesis 3 and 1. Now, this serpent, which is Satan the devil, all you got to do is go into Revelation 12, chapter, you get all his titles, sisters and brothers. He laid there, and he listened to everything that God had said to this woman mm. and this man. So as soon as God got walked, I guess he must have went across the garden. Oh, he was in the garden. We can show you that. I guess as soon as God got through talking, he just walked away and just to see what this man and this woman was going to do. Adam must have took a walk with him. <laughs> Adam should have said, oh, you better come on here, woman. <laughs> because he didn't, here comes Satan. Verse 1, go ahead and read. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which, which the Lord God had made. Uh -huh. And he said unto the woman, Yeah, hath God said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Uh -huh. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said you shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Now Satan eased up on us. Oh, yeah, God said you shouldn't eat of every tree, huh? Mm -hmm. She should let him know. I can eat every tree but you. That's what she should have right. said. And I'm out of here. <laughs> but what happened? Go ahead and read. And the serpent said unto the woman, Uh huh. You shall not surely die. First lie told in the book. Don't you know this same lie is told every funeral, sisters mm -hmm. and brothers? You got the brother laying in the box and everybody looking at him. Oh, see, that's not a brother Joseph there. 
That's just his shell. See, mm. he has made his homecoming. Mm. He's looking down on you from heaven, on you smiling. But you're looking at Brother Joseph. Mm. In other words, you're saying that he didn't die. He just made a transition. The Lord said, ye shall die. Yes. What does die mean? I mean, you cease. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, all of you. Yes, and we're going to show you that we have a lesson called death and resurrection. But that's the first lie I've been told, mm -hmm. and it is practiced every mm -hmm. funeral. Go ahead and read. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, uh -huh. then your eyes shall be opened. Go ahead. And you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Now, that's what got the woman, sisters and brothers. That hooked us. That your eyes going to be open, and you're going to be just like God. You're going to know good and evil. Mm -hmm. He told a partial truth, but not all of it. Go ahead and read. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, uh -huh. and a tree to be desired to make one wise, Go ahead. she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, uh -huh. and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Now, she took of it, and she ate. In other words, the fruit, sisters and brothers, in another lesson, Jose told you it's the fruit of life. Mm -hmm. So she listened to him. And then she went and told it to her husband, and he listened. Now the Lord weighed in on this thing, sister and brother. Skip down to verse 17. Verse 17, and go ahead. And unto Adam he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife. See, he didn't say because you hearkened unto Satan. Mm -hmm. Because you have listened to your voice, the voice of uh, uh, my wife. See, the fruit, sisters and brothers, the conversation. Go ahead and read. And has eaten of the tree, uh -huh. of which I commanded thee, saying, Go ahead. Thou shalt not eat of it. Uh -huh. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. Go ahead. And sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. He said, because you've listened to your wife and got involved with a conversation I didn't want you to, cursed is the ground that you come out. And you're going to eat it. You have to work all of your life mm -hmm. just to make a living. Go ahead and read. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. And it ain't going to be nice to you. Skip down to verse 22 and look what the Lord said now. Go ahead and read. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us, uh -huh. to know good and evil. Uh -huh. And now, let he, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life uh -huh. and eat and live forever, therefore the Lord God sent him from forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. He said, now look. See, that's why I said Satan told a partial truth. He said, now man have become as one of us mm -hmm. to know good mm -hmm. and evil. Now unless he reach forth his hand and eat of the tree of life and live forever, had to put him out. How could he live forever from eating of the tree of life? It's knowledge, sisters and brothers. This is what people don't understand. You can do anything, even Become immortal if you knew how. That's what knowledge is. That's what Paul said. You cannot eat of the table of Satan and of the table of God too. Mm -hmm. So now, now, you don't become tainted. You can't obey. There is no way I'm going to learn you, let you learn how to become immortal. Mm -hmm. So go the man out to God. Go ahead and read. So he drove out the man. And he placed it at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubim uh -huh. and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. And every time the Lord show up, you see them angels, them same cherub angels, sister and brother, because the Lord is the tree of life. Mm -hmm. It said to keep the way of the tree of life, not the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. Garden of Eden don't exist no more, but the tree of life is still here. Mm -hmm. When he showed up to Ezekiel, them cherub angels was there. When he showed up Isaiah, they called them seraphim, but they were still there. When he showed up John, John in Revelation, John saw them four creatures, same cherub angel, been with him ever since the day that he put them around him in the Garden of Eden to get his man a message. You don't have access to me like you used to. Jesus came and opened the door that you can walk in, sister and brother, but you got to go through him now. But it always is like that. We just didn't understand it. So that was Jesus in the Garden of Eden. Another lesson, we'll show you that. So he came back, so I'm going to give you one more shot at this thing. If you don't do it this right, right this time, you're going to die forever. Now, so the Lord put Cain, put uh, Adam and Eve out of the garden because the only people that was in the garden was Adam and Eve, the Lord, and Satan. Mm -hmm. So now in the meantime, since Satan had told Adam and, and Eve what they, was, uh, uh, what they could do with what they had, they started having children. Let's go into Genesis, the fourth chapter. Genesis chapter 4, and we're going to start at verse 1. Genesis 4 and 1. 